okay so i will delete all this till this semicolon this semicolon we are using to close our query so our query looks like this insert into data base dot e data and the four field which we want to save and then write values and make a bracket and corresponding to each field we will enter the values here so what I will go do is I will go to my form once again and this is the first field EID so I will just select this text field and I will copy the name of this text field so I have given the name EID text copy and once again go to your source and paste it here and before this EID I will write this and then this arrow sign and after this arrow and I will write text and I will cover this with single quote double quote plus and on the other side also plus double quote and then single quote okay value 1 this is our value for employee ID 1 the same I will do it for name surname and age so I will just copy this in order to save time and I will paste it three more times one comma two and comma three and I will just replace this EID text name with the other field so I will select this and just copy the name of this name text field and I will copy this name and then I will place it to the next position EID name text once again third field name last name and copy the name once again and go to the code and into a third field surname and into a fourth field age text so once again one last time select this text field copy its name and paste it on the last field so our call query is insert into database dot e data and in the bracket r4 field which i have taken from this four field eid name surname and age here also eid name sir name so this is like this and age and then values and in the single quote double quote plus this arrow pointer your text field name arrow pointer text this is for employee id name last name and age i have done and then this was from the previous code so let's see our code works or not everything else will be the same if some error comes this try catch block will take care of the error so let's try and run the program go to this run button yes and it says something is missing 
so let's see what is missing okay so if I see my code it says this is undeclared this this one here this should be small t this so I will make the changes small t this here also into here and this so in a, all our full field I have done the same this 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 and now let's try to run the program so what was the mistake this this instead of small t I have taken capital T so I have corrected it now let's try and run the program yes it runs so for example I have entered the right username and password click OK it goes to the second field and then it asks me to enter some data so I will pass some data in our database I can see that 8 fields are already there so I will enter ninth data here employee ID 9 and some name and age so 9 employee ID 9 name is Patrick last name is here age is 43 and then I will press this save button save and I think the data is saved it's not showing me the data is saved but I think it's saved so I will go to my database to check here yeah, it's not showing any data but when I press this refresh button refresh yes you can see the data is saved 9 Patrick Keel and 43 okay so our code is working you are successfully able to insert data from your form to your MySQL database one more thing you can do into your code is show a message when your query is executed so when this is inserted just copy this message field from your catch block and paste it uh, here in between this while loop and then write double quote and you can write saved no this message box show saved should come above your while loop so after your try block when your this connection is opening and this is executing your query after the execution of query you should show the message that your data is saved and this while loop is blank so let's see if our code is working run yes username and password is correct and I'm entering some new data employee number 10 max Miller age is 56 and I will press save and it shows me the message box that our data is saved so I will press OK and now I will see into the database if the database is really refreshed so just press this refresh button and yes your data is saved here you can see so in this way you can insert data into your database with the help of the Visual C++ Windows Form application I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.